Good morning, friendly farmers. Happy Thursday to you. The week is approaching the end. Thank heavens, the weekend is almost here. Almost. Got a little bit of time left. Uh, don't hit the tree, don't hit the tree, don't hit the tree, don't hit the tree. I hit the tree. Ah, crap. I'm a bad driver. Bad. Well, not as bad as go-kart jockey, though. Holy buckets. Uh, but I'm a bad driver. Anyways, um, we are here in the field. I, I am just finishing up uh, some weeding that we have on the uh, northern half of this field. Um, the southern half, believe it or not, is all ready to go. It is. Um, it is in the harvestable state. So I'm kind of wondering, uh, thinking here, if I should uh, start harvesting that or if I wait until the uh, field is completely... Let's see, I'm way off here. Let me get straight here. Um, or if I should wait until the uh, whole field is uh, ready to go. Um, I was hoping that the whole field would be ready this morning, but then I forgot, oh man, I got a weed... I got to weed this one half. So I'm just wrapping this up. Matter of fact, oop, let's raise the boom there a little bit. I just have uh, this outlining area to do, and then it'll be all weeded. We're done that. Other than that, we have a big day ahead of us. We have a big day, exciting day. We are going to, um, what's the word I'm thinking of? We are going to channel our inner Red Dead Redemption. Yes, we are. Um, I kind of, I was up early this morning. I made some preparations and uh, kind of got things somewhat set up uh, for a little golf cart jockey surprise. You betcha. I heard uh, golf cart jockey was talking uh, last night and he he liked my horse. He did. He said that, that was a final setting horse. Uh, and then he kind of got a little sad. And then he said, oh, I want a horse named Xavier. I really want a horse named Xavier. So I'm thinking to myself, what can I do to make this happen for a golf cart jockey? And then I thought, you know what? I have been a law-abiding citizen my whole life. I've kind of done the straight and narrow. And I said, I'm going to channel my inner Red Dead Redemption. So we'll see how that goes later on here. But in the meantime, I have a little farming to do. Yesterday, we kind of screwed around, went for a horse ride. Um, but I have a little bit of farming here to do. And we'll get that done here in the near future. But um, let's see. I think... Let me check my GPS mapping here. I think... That will uh, cover all the weeding for that field. Yes, it does. Look at that. Um, it is all done. Except, you know, the outlining area in the middle is not had a fertilizer state, but I don't get it. I, I did it. I did it. I know I did it. So I'm just going to go with it. Um, oh, boy, we got a weed 19, too. So um, we can head over to 19. We can get that weeded real quick. And then, um, yeah, I think... You know, instead of getting the combine out, getting her all fired up, start the harvest here, I might as well just wait until the whole field is ready and we can do it at one time. I think that would be a better idea. Because um, in the meantime, I can get that other field weeded and then we can uh, do the golf cart jockey surprise inner, Reden inner uh, Red Redemption 2 persona. And um, straw bales. I'm going to stop and check on the straw bale. I don't know. Golf cart jockey is... Um, going to be doing a lot of straw bale making he's got uh, some grass fields that are, he's working on bailing up right now and then he's got a um, I don't know if he's got it planted yet or not I think he was doing some sort of barley and uh, the nice guy said hey how would you feel about me borrowing your combine or you combining for me and I'll give you the straw swaths off of it so um, yeah that's uh, that's fine and outstanding so that might work. Let's just pull in here and check on our straw bales. Animals, I think we're okay. We'll check on them real quick here, too. But, uh, my goodness. Um, let's see. Could we get rid of a load? We've got, let's see, 4, 8, 12. Is that 24, 36? Yeah, so we actually could probably just get rid of some more if we needed to. I could just take my little flatbed and fill that up. Um, let's look at animals here just real quick. Let's see, pig, or pigs, we don't have no bacon. We have a dog named Bacon. Uh, cows, uh, oh, they need a little bit of a cleaning. Um, but other than that, they, they seem to be okay, except for the grass part. I've talked to golf cart jockey about that. And the horse, no name. Uh, I'm still learning about that, because all the uh, pen information is very, very good. But the uh, three on the left here, the, is that riding it, and then the heart, and then... I don't know what the three diamonds mean, so I'll have to figure that out. Maybe I should watch a video. Uh, I have yet to do that. But, um, so yeah. So we got to get some cleaning done. I got to get the weeding done here. Um, other than that, I think I think we're sitting pretty good. 
And then, like I said, and then we can um, do our golf cart jockey surprise Red Dead Redemption thing. Uh, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to that. Um, let's see. Canola field looks pretty good here, doesn't it? Oh, oh, the other thing I'm thinking about doing is uh, Jeff Taylor, uh, my big buddy uh, down at the bank there. Um, I talked to him this morning and asked him about interest rates and stuff like that. There's a few things that I want to do. And um, so I'm thinking about that. But that would mean that we would be maxing out our loan at uh, $1.5 million. And boy, that's, that is a lot, a lot of money. So I'm still kind of thinking about that. I, I just don't know where to go with that. Um, part of me says absolutely not. The other part says, well, why, why not? Kind of one of those things. But um, we'll just make her go. We'll make something work. But I'm going to get this weeding done. I'm going to get this canola weed field weeded here. And then, um, then we'll check on what I have in store for um, maxing out the loan. Um, you know what, bales, shice. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll load up a load of bales too. Or maybe we'll do the golf cart jockey Red Red Redemption thing first and then do bales. I don't know. We'll see. But first thing, I got to get this thing weeded. But anyways, um, happy Thursday to you all. Hope you are having a fun and outstanding day. It's an absolute pleasure having you here. Uh, golf cart jockey and I both appreciate you watching as I run out <laughs> As I run on a herbicide. That didn't last very long. Apparently, I should uh, look at my tank before I start. And I could have filled her up. Uh, I do have some down at the store. I have a tote already down there. So I'll have to head down there and fill up the uh, the sprayer. And then it'll be good to go again. But anyways, like I was saying, Cook Art Jockey and I sincerely appreciate you guys tuning into these videos. They're a lot of fun. Um, it's an absolute pleasure uh, reading the comments in the morning. Um... Uh, so we're having a lot of fun with it. But anyways, thanks. Uh, we'll see you here after a little bit. Um, yeah, yeah, it's all good. Cheers. Holy cow, can you believe that? The uh, canola <laughs> has turned as I was weeding it. But I got that done. I got that done, luckily. Luckily. So I wonder... Um, let's just check the map here. I wonder if things are ready then. Um, soil composition, fruit types, uh, growth. Holy cow, look at that. Everything is now ready to be harvested here, here at uh, 8.27 this morning. Wow, that's not too shabby. Uh, I wasn't expecting that at all. Um, I was not expecting that. Um, that's going to put a damper in our um, golf cart jockey surprise plans because I have everything all set up to go. Uh, hmm. What should we do? What should we do? You know what? I'm thinking, perhaps I'm thinking, that uh, let's go... Let's go get, get Golf Cart Jockey his surprise. And uh, we'll do that, and then we can come back, and we can start the uh, combine up and be busy doing that. But that can sit there for now. That's okay. Um, let's see. What do we need to do? I need to go in, and I need to change clothes real quick. Um, get in. Yeah, I need to change clothes. I need to, um, I need to, uh, channel my inner Red Redemption 2, uh, slash, um, I don't know, Billy the Kid, um, Clint Eastwood, uh, John Wayne, um, one of those guys. So, um, how do I get to my bedroom? I'll tell you what, let me change clothes and I'll be right back. Okay, Bacon, here, come here, Bacon. Have some food before I go, uh, just in case I'm not back here anytime in the near future. Um, but, hey, his name is Golf Cart Jockey. Don't get mad at him. Don't bite him. Don't bark at him, okay? You be a good boy. I know you're a good boy. Oh, you want to play one thing of catch? Uh, let's see if you're ready. You ready? Are you ready? No, you don't want to play catch? Well, I didn't throw it there very good, did I? Okay, next time, buddy. Okay, okay. Um, now, we are going to initiate Operation Golf Cart Jockey. Let's see, what do I need? I need, I got my outfit, I got my mask. Um, I need my horse. I need the horse with no name. All right, horse with no name. Are you ready to go for a ride? Come here, buddy. You ready to go for a ride? Ready to do this? You ready? Okay, let's do this horse with no name. Come on. All right, my friend. All right, you ready? Let's rock and roll. Let's do this. I'm ready. I got the I got the courage. 
Yeah, let's let's rock and roll. Let's go. Come on. Come on, hard no name. There you go. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's head to the hills, man. Let's head to the hills. Let's head to the hills. We're off. This should be entertaining. I'm a little scared, though. I gotta be honest with you. I'm a little scared. Um, I've never done this sort of thing before. Um, you know, like I said, I've always been a law-abiding citizen. Um, I've never been daring. I mean, I could, I'm, I'm, I could be looking at prison time here, for crying out loud. I wonder if Golf Cart Jackie would visit me in prison. I wonder. I think he would. He's the kind of guy that would that would visit you in prison. Let's see. I, I gotta look at my map here to make sure I'm going the right way. Uh, horse no name. Let's go this way. I'll drive the tree. Ooh, jeez, horse no name. You scared me there. Um, are you tired? Need a break? Nah, you're. Watch out for the bushes. Ow, ow. Hey, easy. How about the road? Stay on the road, man. That's easier. Um, let's cut through here. Horse no name. I think we want to we want to go up in the hills. We want to go up in those hills up there in these parts. Um, you know what? Horse with no name was excited about this. I think I talked to him last night. I said, "Hey, here's my plan." Horse with no name. Um, Horse with no name was actually a little bit excited about this. Uh, this is going to be absolutely outstanding. Um, the problem is, uh, it, but it's not really a problem because Horse with no name is well trained. Horse with no name knows how to get home, so Horse with no name can get home. Which is a good thing. Up the hills, horse no name. Let's go. Up. Whoa. Jeez. That, oh, good thinking, horse no name. Jump the cliff. Good job. Oh, what a horse. What a horse. Let's just stop here. Um, let's see. I think we want to go that way, horse no name. Let's go that way. Yeah, we want to go that way. Go down here. We got to cross the road down here, horse no name. And then... Um, Matter of fact, you need a name because the horse's no name is getting awfully hard to say. And then we want to go up these hills. Can you make it up this hill? Come on, horse's no name. Let's do it. Boy, no problem. No problem for you, horse's no name. You are awesome at this. Let's see. Uh, where's a good spot? Where's a good spot? Let's go. I'm trying to think, horse's no name. Right here. This could be a good stretch. This could be a good stretch right here. Don't worry, horse with no name. Golf cart jockey will take care of you if something happens to me. I mean, golf cart jockey and I have talked about these things. Like if I was to die in a tragic train accident. Golf cart jockey would make sure you're okay. He'll take care of the farm. Don't worry. Nothing's going to happen to you, horse with no name. It's all on me, buddy. It's all on me. You know the plan. You know what to do. Yep. Okay, good. We talked about this last night, so I have faith in you that you know what to do. Yep, it's all good. Okay, you're my alibi, horse with no name. You're my alibi. Okay, you can do it. Don't worry. Now, when it starts to come, you, you need a speed. You got, you got to run like you've never ran before, horse with no name. Get me close, and I can do the rest, okay? Good. Nice, nice talk. Nice talk. You getting excited? Getting a little excited? Adrenaline start pumping there, horse with no name? Yeah, I know, me too. I'm getting a little excited. A little nervous. A little scared, but I'm gone. Yeah, it's okay. But I'm getting excited. I am getting excited, horse no name. Mm-hmm. Almost time. Yeah, I know. Just just take it easy for a second, buddy. Just calm down. You already had a butterfinger. I'm not going to give you No, I'm not. No. No. Don't look at me like that. Come on. Here it goes. Ready? Okay, you know the plan. Come on. Come on, catch up. We're almost there. Okay, a little faster now. Come on. Ha! We got the train. Good job, horse with no name. We got the train. That is absolutely outstanding. What an awesome horse you are. Okay, you go home now. Oh, you can't hear me, but I'm just talking to myself. All right, we did it. Um, let's see. How do you drive a train? Um, oh, slow down, train. Oh, don't hit that thing. Oh, good. The things are down. I suppose it's kind of hard to hit a building when you're on rails. Uh, but if there was a way, golf cart jockey could do it. Let's see. Uh, where are we at? Oh, we're coming up here. Uh, lever, lever. How do you, how do you stop? Slow down, train. Oops. That red button, that looks good. Let's push that. What does that do? Um, train's not stopping. Stop, train. Come on, train. Stop. I want to stop up there. Let's see. Lever, button. Stop train. 
Hey, we're slowing down though. That's working. More lever. More lever. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. This is going to work out awesome. Let's see. Wow. That was a ride. Holy buckets. We are here. Um, I have staged. Yes. Like a, it's like a back to the future moment here. I have the, um, I have the uh, Mahindra and the horse and the trailer and a bag of oat seed for golf cart jockey. Yeah. So we're going to load this up here real quick. He's placed by rail. I'm honking the horn. Maybe you'll hear me. Anybody around, Gopar Chucky? Hello, Gopar Chucky. I don't know. Well, he's, he's a busy guy. He's got all kinds of stuff going on here. I think he's expanding. I think he's expanding. Come on, train. You can make it. We're almost there, train. Almost there. Put some effort into it, train. My goodness, you're a train for crying out loud. You're coming to a standstill. Let's get the show on the road here. Barely make it up this hill. What kind of a train are you? Not a very... You're not going to get up to 88.8 .8 miles per hour this train. No way, Jose. No way. No way. So, I think, just on the back side of Gulf Park Jockey's place here, there is a ramp. Just happened to be a ramp. So that's where we can unload this... Um, the Mahindra and the uh, trailer. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Okay, coming up here. We'll just make a nice, easy stop right at the ramp. Kind of interesting they have a ramp here. Must be part of the sawmill. Must be part of the sawmill. Uh oh, our tra our uh, trailer is kind of falling off there. That's not good. That's not good. Golf cart jockey's here though. Uh oh, we better stop there. Before before we lose our our uh, package, we're gonna need some help getting that thing off. Hey, golf cart jockey, how you doing? What you got going on? I brought you a horse. I see that. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, I'm not gonna ask about the train part. We'll just no. We'll I, I borrowed skip it. Skip right over. I okay, borrowed it. Sure. I borrowed it. Uh, they they let wink, me use wink. it for. They let me use it real quick. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry about the uh, the. Uh, not so to a good load, but I had a little I had a little trouble getting it up here. It kind of twisted and turned on was, me, but it was doing fine until it got right here. But yeah, that's impressive. There you go. But the trailer is mine though, so you can keep that as long as you need it there. And then a um, uh, nice little horse in there for you. I I I, I yes. think you like the name of the horse. You can name the horse. I think you have a good name for the horse. I can't wait. Okay, and then anytime you want to, if, if you don't have a paddock and you just want to borrow one, you can bring it down to my house, and I will, ride it down uh, there? I will take care of it. Yeah, you can ride her down there, and I, and I'll help you take care of the horse for you. Um, but yeah, awesome. yeah, awesome. Idea. There you go. 
Well, thank you, sir. That's you're amazing. Right. You're very welcome. Okay, I gotta go real quick because I gotta get rid of the train real quick before they're missing it. Um, <laughs> yeah, get that thing back before you get in trouble. I don't want you associated with the uh, with the, with the train thing uh, here. The less I know, the better. That's right. You don't know anything about the train. No, <laughs> no, nothing about the train. All right, that's far enough. Bye, bye, train. See ya. There. Nobody knows anything. I don't know anything about a train. Kind of hurt my leg, though, when I jumped out there real fast. I think Golf Cart Cotton Jockey's pretty happy about his um, his horse. I, I think he likes his horse. Uh, now, i got to walk back to the Mahindra after my train uh, escapade, my Red Dead Redemption inner self. Uh, and then I have to uh, check on the soybeans because perhaps maybe we'll start the harvest. Maybe we will start harvesting soybeans or canola, for that matter. Both fields are ready to go. I just got to go back here and get my Mahindra. Um, I think Golf Cart Jockey and Xavier are going to have a wonderful, wonderful life together there. That is absolutely outstanding. Sorry about the load. Load got a little little screwy, but uh, you know what? I tried everything. I, af I actually did. I tried everything. Pallets, logs, nothing. I couldn't get that load to stay still for anything. Um, it's got tie straps on the train, though. Okay, Mahindra, let's get out of here. Uh, we know nothing. We've seen nothing. Don't know anything. Anything. I'll see you back at the farm. It's a long trip down the mountain. And uh, what Golf Cart Jockey tells me is that the roads are treacherous uh, lately. Uh, he's been having a lot of trouble driving. So I'm going to we'll fast forward there. And uh, I will see you back at the farm here in just a little bit. What a morning it has been. Holy buckets. Ha! It worked. It worked. We succeeded. We got the train, we got the horse, we got the golf cart jockey. Life is great. Um, I am interested in seeing what, what uh, golf cart jockey is going to do, but we will have to wait until tomorrow. I got back here, and uh, hang on there, uh, horse is no name. Um, here's, here's the deal. I, was, uh, I got a call from Jeff Taylor, and he said, Hey, Farmer Mint, uh, we got some special financing, low interest. Uh, take advantage of it. So I did. I did. I maxed out 1.5 million now. We have a loan. And um, here's the thing. Stay there, horse no name. There are two fields across from the farm. Two small fields um, that I can purchase. And I'm thinking I'm going to do that. I think I am. Uh, boy, isn't that a beautiful sight looking over the farm like that? Look at that. Soybeans behind the house. We got the canola over here. It is absolutely just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I'm, I'm happy. I am happy as a... Uh, Man entering a prime rib buffet. I couldn't think of another analogy. That was my bad. I, I had one in my head, but then I just it just escaped me as you're going to say it. So, yeah, I apologize for that stupid analogy. But I like prime rib, and I like buffets, so uh, they go hand in hand. Anyways, I am happy. Um, so let's go in here. I'm going to go in here. Let's take a look at 28 and 29. Um, don't worry about the, 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 uh, pink. That was a, uh, that's a, a mysterious landowner that owns that kind of stuff, but we don't know anything about that. Uh, 28, 28 right here, 107, 496. I mean, pretty inexpensive land prices. Let's buy that puppy. Yep. And 29 right here. Let's buy that. There we go. So we, yeah, boy, look at that. We have got a uh, Mr. Sealy P green area here, that's for sure. Um, boy, that looks nice. That looks just outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. So these are two of ours. Um, I think what we're going to have to do is get the plow out. I think I'm going to get David to come down here and do some plowing if he's not too busy up at Golf Cart Jockeys. Um, but, yeah, so we still have $99,000 in the bank, but keep in mind we have um, $1.5 now in debt. But here's the good news. Soybeans are ready to harvest canola is ready to harvest so i'm kind of thinking where we should start i think we'll fire the combine up and um, we will uh start with the canola we'll just start with the canola harvest and get that done but it's kind of been a productive day we got the rest of the uh, weeding done this morning and then we got some fertilization done i had to do a few little patches and then poof just like that all the crops go from um well, the half of the soybean field is already full-grown, but the canola and the other half of the um, 
soybeans went to uh, harvestable. So we can fire up the combine. We're going to have some crop. We're going to have some income here. We will check prices um, once we get going. Uh, cows and our horse with no name, uh, they're doing pretty good. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, stop. Hold on here. Uh, Gulf Park Jockey brought our trailer back already. Huh. Look at that. He must be in the... Well, I wonder if he dropped off his horse or not. Uh, let's go check. Come on there, horse with no name. Uh, time for you to go take an easy stroll in your paddock. Um, cows are okay. Uh, horse no name is okay. We we have a few cleaning to do, but we'll get that done today. Uh, we have plenty of time yet today. Time has just uh, got creeped on by, it seems like. But, uh, oh, we don't need to go that fast. Slow down there, horse no name. Um, but we're okay. I think we're sitting pretty good. Um, we'll have to do some work about that. Um, there you go. Okie dokie, horse no name. Have a good day. I'll see you later, okay, buddy? I'll see you later. Oh, there you are. Boy, that would... Boy, you move in a hurry there. Um, but with that said, I got the Mahindra over here. Let's go fire up the combine. Um, so, oh, straw mills is the other thing I had going on. Uh, David came down a little bit ago, and he was stacking some, some straw bales for me. So I think I have, yeah, I have one trailer. I, I just used a little one. I have one trailer there um, with straw bales here that is all ready to go. So we can do that too. Um... We're gonna we're gonna get rid of that load and probably another one here too. Golf cart jockey is gonna have some straw bales for us available in the not too distant future. But let's but in the meantime, let's fire up the combine. Let's get the uh, harvest underway here. Uh, the beautiful T five sixty I. You betcha. Starts right up. Purrs like a kitten. Purrs like a kitten. That pull the old header out of here. Oh, hang on there, combine. Don't get too excited. Oh, hang on there, combine. What are we doing here? Oh, jeepers, combine. Oh, little, uh, yeah, there we go. Maybe I caught the ladder back there or something. Uh, watch out for the auger. Not like we're going very far here. We're just going right behind the building for crying out loud. Um, but we'll pull this out of here. We'll hook up to the header. Let's see if we can unfold the combine over here. And then um, we'll do some canola harvesting. Awesome. Hopefully the price... Well, we'll get started here. We'll check the prices. Uh, hopefully we can get a good yield. We should get a good yield. We max out on everything. And uh, add some income into the bank. Uh, I'm sure uh, once we have some income, Jeff is going to say, Hey, I need some of that money. I need some of that money. That's okay. But that's what the bank is for. We borrow, we pay back. Kind of a, It's kind of like a routine, you know? a uh, Some sort of that. Uh, let's see. We'll start the column buying up. Our fancy dancy canola header comes on there automatically, and we are combining canola here on Pillsbury. Absolutely awesome. I don't know what we're going to do with this field once we get it turned around. Um, that'd be a good question. Um, what should we plant next? Maybe we should do some corn? Should we do some corn? Uh, maybe some silage? Stuff like that? I don't know what we'll to think about that. We will have to think about that, but um, hey, this is absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. Love it. Love it. We should have a good yield. Yeah, look at that. We're filling this hopper up pretty quick here. Um, but anyways, that's kind of productive day. Boy, we got, uh, yeah, we got all that done. Got a uh, train ride. A, well, an inappropriate train ride, I can say. And we got that up the golf cart jockey's place. Um, bought some land, and now we're combining canola. So I tell you what, next time we come back, we will pick up right here where we left off, and we will do some harvesting and get that all squared away. We got canola and soybeans harvest, but anyways. Hey, I want to thank you for all for joining us today. I sincerely appreciate it. Golf cart jockey, sincerely appreciate it. It's been absolute uh, a fun ride. Uh, you guys all have a great Thursday. Uh, the weekend's almost here. Think about that. The weekend's almost here. But you have a great Thursday, and uh, we will see you next time here on Felsbrin. But until then, keep them between the ditches. So long. So long.